Drake. <laughs> I thought I was seeing things. You know, I don't watch basketball, but I saw Drake, and I, I thought I saw Drake, and I stopped. I stopped for Drake. Um, I like him. He was, he's been called out, though, for courtside behavior that wasn't so nice to everybody in Milwaukee. So they think. Drake, you know, he's a huge Toronto fan, and currently Toronto and Milwaukee are battling it out for some sort of NBA semifinals or something. And Toronto was winning. Oh, wait, no, it's a tie. Right? It's a tie. Uh, Drake's been getting really enthusiastic, though, with his game sides or his courtside seats, and it's pissing the people off in Milwaukee. He gets up, and it's not like he's cool with it. It's not like he's cool with it like Jack Nicholson or Spike Lee, although Spike does get a little happy. But Drake is in the, Like, when I was switching the channel, the reason why I stopped is because, you know, you stop one time, and he's on the court, like, hugging the coach and giving massages and hugging players and the mascot and stuff. And people in Milwaukee are saying, well, this is distracting to the game. What is he doing? We're calling foul on Drake. Take his tickets away for, I guess, the remainder of whatever they're doing. My thought is, well, Milwaukee, if you had a giant star, and shout out to everybody in Milwaukee, only an hour and a half from Chicago, I kept seeing the signs. Um, but Milwaukee, I was trying to find out through a Hot Topics Bureau who your biggest star is on their team. You know what I mean? I couldn't, I, they didn't, it's a, they said it's a fairly new team. Is it fairly new? Oh, well, congratulations on the newness of your team. And... It is intrusive what Drake was doing. It is very distracting. But you know what? Isn't that the, the name of the game when you're trying to win? You always distract your opponent with something. Anyway.